Hi, everybody. Welcome to Winnipeg. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, it's almost still a uh, bullpen analogy from baseball. There's a chance to bring in the closer here tonight. Yeah, you bet. Step over another hurdle, James. Get to the next series as fast as you can. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Gains the zone through center. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves it over to McDavid. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Shifley swooping in on the attack. Quick pass to Connor. Here's a shot. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Winnipeg's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Back to the point it goes. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Stick save and a butte by Hellebuck. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. Here's a short pass to Connor. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. McDavid's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. Winnipeg sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the power play. You want to attack this. You can change the way the game looks in the next two minutes. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Chase right in front. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Stasty's moving it ahead. Quick feed to Perot. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Directed over to Roslovic. They go on the attack from the left side. Roslovic along the wing. Oh, he got all of that with a blocker. What a stop by Koskinen. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Puts it off the outside of the frame. What a shot. I mean, really good play, but it hits the post. And like everything else in this game, it stays out of the net. Fires it into the offensive zone. With the steal. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Perot. Puck grabbed by Kara. Big play inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Kara. Perot's gaining momentum. Looks to get the puck over to Cahoon. Moves it to Ehlers. Cops got it on the offensive end. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Yamamoto. Bears moving the puck through his own zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Steps into all of it in the open ice. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We're still scoreless. Torres is quick on the draw. Quick pass to Neal. Denies him in close. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. 
I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Edmonton's won the draw. Here's a blast. Oh, what a save in front. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The good luck from the truck. Attaboy, Brannigan. This puck changes direction, but the goalie makes the save. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. Point to point pass. Taken by Puyo Yarvi. Receives the pass. Move to the middle. He scores! The captain leading by example. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Edmonton's got the game's first goal as they lead here, 1 0 early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace, you make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the open ice and loses possession after a solid hit. Here's a short pass to Cobb. Tries to get the puck to Appleton. Scrum along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Strong defensive effort. Stays with it. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Excellent stick work on the play. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets go to work on offense. Scores! We're all evened up! It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time, and now it doesn't matter. It's like we're right back at the beginning again. That's a big goal. Well, I guess we know what's on the clips tomorrow in the video room, James. The defenseman standing directly behind the net when the puck's out front before it gets shot into the net. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We got a tie game. Thompson's won the draw here in the open ice. Sends it in deep. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Gaining momentum along the wing. Edmonton's got the puck in the corner. Moves it to Yamamoto. Off the glove. The Jets have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. All alone! Denies him on the breakaway! Really good speed to get out in front, dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie, but the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Picked up along the wall by Yamamoto. And now he moves it quickly to Ennis. Tries to get the puck over to Bear. Quick pass to Ennis. Too many bodies in the way. And a strong effort on that play. And he slides it quickly to Ehlers. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Now uh, you react. You go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Winnipeg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. 
can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Nugent Hopkins is brimming with confidence now. The point streak will make you feel like you're going to score every game. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Musa quickly over to Line A. And they can't connect. Trying to get it out of danger. And they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Puck knock loose in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Pass across to Shifley. Here's a short pass to Wheeler. Cross ice pass. And they can convert to the play. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Jets have it behind the cage. Straight up the middle. Here they come. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. Obviously a pretty important time in the game. The PK does a good job. Keeps this game tied. Edmonton's at the back end. Looking to set up offensively. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Couldn't make that one happen. Taken along the wall by Jones. McDavid's got the puck along the wing. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Uh, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. Lowry's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Pionk and tries to make a diagonal pass to Appleton. Edmonton's on the attack. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Turris had an opportunity to do something different, but he overhandled the puck, and now he's lost it. Takes the feed. Puts the puck on net with the stop. Koskinen's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Pass to Jones. Moves the puck across to Turris. Nice poke check. Quick feed to Neal. And that's blocked. Oh, what a stop by Hillebuck. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Moves the puck over to Forbort. Let's it go with the stop. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. The Jets win the draw. Moves it to Perot. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal when they put him into the lead. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. The Jets have the go-ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change at all, James, because there's too much time left. Be aggressive and try and stretch the lead to two. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Handles the puck from the left side. And now it's grabbed by Puyo Yarby. 
And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. And that one's stolen at center ice. Dumps it in. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Takes the pass back at the point. Quick pass to Forbor. Stopped by the goaltender. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Great defensive stick work on the play. And that pass goes awry. Moves the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Up along the wing. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. Centering pass. Oh, he got paddled by Hillebuck. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Centered out in front. Knocked away. Nice zone entry from the left. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. Pucks it away in his own end. Moves into the slot. He scores his first career playoff goal. Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoffs, and you are pumped. I think he looks like he's landing an airplane there, James. He waves his glove at the puck. It still goes into the net. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Winnipeg's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Slides it to DeMello. Here's a short pass to Line. Nothing doing on that. Scooped up along the wall by Ehlers. And they send it right back to him. And pulls it out of midair. That's intercepted. The Oilers continue to have solid positioning, intercepting pucks, keeping the game close because there is no room. The Jets will play it in their own end. Couldn't complete the play. Inside the final minute of the first here. Feeds the puck to Cassian. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Slides it across to Stastny. Quick feed to Pionk. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Koskinen. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, what a chance. And the goalie catches the break on that. That looked like it beat him, but it's just outside of the cage. That pass doesn't go. First period comes to an end. I'll tell you what, anybody who bought a ticket for this one is feeling like they got their money's worth. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Koskinen's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Pugliarvi swinging the puck through center ice. Smart defensive play there. Moves it to Wheeler. Here's a shot and makes the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Jets have been getting solid offensive contributions leading 3-1. 
And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here they are on the attack. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Hillebuck. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass to Cahoon. Bears picking up steam. Grabbed along the board by DeMello. Knocks the puck loose. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. That's sent in deep. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Ehlers. Handles the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck now. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Appleton's going to play it to the corner. Oh, an even better save! As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Jets have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Ennis is going off for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. And now he angles it across to Perot. Sends a pass over. And that banks off a stick. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dishes it to Stastny. Picked up along the boards by Larson and manages to clear the zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Cassian. Moves it to Kara. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Snaps one here in the slot. Oh, what a stop by Hillebuck. High quality chance, high quality save. Slides the puck across to Roslevic. That's a good heads up play at center ice. The Jets run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Stop that one. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Takes it in front. Here's a short pass to chase on. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here they come on the attack. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Nice pass. From center they get into the attacking area. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Passes the puck over to Nurse. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. Jabs the puck away. Manages to hang on. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves it to Connor. On the doorstep. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Quick pass to Jones. Now a quick pass to Pugliarvi. Strong defensive effort. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Works it across to Appleton. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it to Connor. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Rissland in close. How did he stop that one? No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. 
That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Turris was hooked on the play, and the officials saw it. And let's see what the call is. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. They'll get a chance on the power play for the very first time. They spent some time this morning working on it. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. Makes the save. Oh, and another big stop. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Here they come. Fires one on goal. Gets in front of it. Hellebuck's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And I think about as big a stop as you can come up with so far tonight, that's a much-needed whistle there. When you're running around in your zone, you're always yelling at the goalie, freeze it if you can. Finally, he jumps on it. Here in the back half of this period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers have it against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Barry. From the opposite point. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. some good moments and others where he's been really sharp. This deflected shot really tests him. Edmonton's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal but they still trail in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Moves the puck up to Turris. The Jets get their man back. We're back to even strength. Oh, man, what a good power play, but it doesn't change the big numbers up on the score clock. Couldn't score, but all kinds of chances. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's picked off in front. Puck sent over to Line. A. Looking to set up offensively. Edmonton's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Turris. And now he tries to get it across to Pugliarvi. Passes on over to Nurse. Edmonton's in transition. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Out front. Fantastic save. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Feeds it to Polia. Tries to get it to Perot. From the right side, takes the pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And that goes off a player. Here's a shot. Oh, he's going to be disappointed, James. He's going to get back to the bench and wonder, what did I do there? I had a great scoring chance and missed the net. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Can't find his man. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it quickly over to Wheeler. Takes the pass. The Oilers move it in. And now it's over to Chase on. And that's broken up. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Right out in front. Centering pass. Great defensive effort with the strip. Puck grabbed by Forbor. Winnipeg's on the attack. And sends it just out of reach. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Couldn't connect on that pass. 
Slides it diagonally to Shifley. The Jets carry it along the wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. That pass goes a little sideways. Looks to set up at the point now. Taken along the wall by Turris. And that one's broken up. And he gives it over to Lowry. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to Lowry. And now he moves it quickly to Forbort. Here's a chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. In the final moments of this period, Winnipeg's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Taken by DeMello. And that goes wide! Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Lowry. Appleton's got it against the boards. Denies him with the blocker with a stop by Koskinen. No, sir. Smothered that in close chance. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Bears got it across the line. Here's a shot. Answers the call with a big save. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Comes up with a glove save! McDavid's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the feed. Centering pass in front. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save! Hellebuck's reflexes help him out. A dangerous chance he turns away. Can't hang on after that hit. Slides the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Moved out in front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the puck's booted away. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Here's a shot. Scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They dominated this play. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Winnipeg's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Feeds it on over to Yamamoto, and he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Pionk's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Unleashes a cannon, and a great save! And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Hey fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. In the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three, that offer Big third a period round. still to come. So we'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. For next season, stop by section 144 on the concourse. Winnipeg special team set to go to work here on the power play. Feeds it down low. Not able to connect. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kara. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. On the attack along the boards. Edmonton's penalty killers get a hold of it. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Routine save made by Koskinen.
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Jets lead at 4-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't connect! The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Jones. Cutting to the front of the net. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick pass across to Wheeler. And he regains control of the puck. Denied by Koskinen. Fails to find the open man. Nice zone entry on the left side. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play. But I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Oilers have it behind the net. Edmonton's looking to break out. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Rips it and rips it, turns him away. The Jets have it against the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. Dreisaitl's got the puck. And they can't connect. And now he angles it across to Kopp. Along the half wall with the puck. The Jets have it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice job tying up his opponent. Quick pass to Cahoon. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Rocks him. Puck scooped up by Morrissey. Maintains possession. Slides it across to Morrissey. Perot's had the puck in his hands a great deal tonight. He's got a couple of points and he's looking for more as he jumps back on the ice. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of him. Winnipeg's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Thompson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he scores! What a shot! Wow, that's quick. Off the draw, snapped right back cleanly. The one-timer beats the goalie, who really doesn't have time to move at all. He's squared up to the face-off. This puck is right on the tape and in the net before he can move. Winnipeg's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Bears got it in the offensive zone. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Passes over to Roslovic. Here's a short pass to Thompson. Tripped up on the play and the referees caught that one. Here's the official call. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the puck and he gets his stick caught in their feet. Winnipeg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play looks great, but they've got to get inside those defensemen, fight for a rebound. Takes the feed. Moves the puck. Snaps one on net, turns it away. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Scooped up along the wall by Pionk. Nice poke check. Move to the middle, tees him up. Stones him on the one-timer. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Winnipeg showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The Oilers win the draw. Dished on over to Bear. Slides the puck to Turris. Good use of the body on the play. 
And he takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. Winnipeg's playing it through center. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Right in the slot. Let's the wrister go. Stones him in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Hellebuck's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Winnipeg's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. The Jets win the draw. Pionk's got it in the defensive end. Sent into the offensive zone. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. Denies him! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Well, they've had limited opportunities, but the power play coach now has to get into their ear and give them a little something that will help them crack through. That knocks him off the puck. Close save, and he handles it with ease. Winnipeg's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Shifley's won the draw. Handles the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's got possession at center. Winnipeg's got it now. Here he is, wrestling on net. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Koskinen. Dead center, excellent save. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Bears got it along the boards. Sends a pass over. Torres plays it against the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. Jones jumps out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Well, the coach has got to be happy with their penalty killers, but they also have to be walking up and down the bench saying, that's enough. We're putting too much on a penalty kill unit that has been perfect tonight. Blocked in traffic. Puck picked up by Morrissey. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Jets send their man advantage unit out once more. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. And they fail to go tape to tape. Across the line from center. Hangs onto the puck. Great stop by Hellebuck. Quick feed to Roslevic. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Roslevic's got it along the boards. From the slot, reshot. Nothing doing. Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Puck dumped in. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. The Jets in transition at center. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Battling for it along the boards. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Let's it fly! He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board.
Well, that penalty really cost them. They're shorthanded. They could never clear the zone under all kinds of pressure. And finally, the penalty killers crack. They give up the power play goal. Winnipeg's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. The Jets win the draw here in the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Connor. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of it. Quick pass over to Nugent Hopkins. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. With possession along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Bear. Denies him! He got all of it! Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a chance on the doorstep! Whoa. He scores! Mark Shifley, the former Barry Cole, makes it count! This is almost a tease for the goalie. He can't quite get his legs together. Gets beaten through the five hole. And they're going to mix it up between the pipes here. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. The Jets are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin. You can use your whole bench and coast it in. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it quickly to Kopp. Gaining momentum along the wing. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Moves it to Cahoon. Sends the pass over. Dreisaitl's calling card is the score. Not tonight. He doesn't have a sniff. And his team is getting punted pretty badly. Appleton's got it into offensive territory. He's got a step. Oh, and he can't finish. Looked like he wasn't sure whether he was going to deke or shoot. That chance is turned aside. I think he's still confused about what he was thinking there. Puck grab by Appleton. Nice pass. Takes a shot. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. That opportunity is rejected. Sharp reaction save. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. Winnipeg's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Quick pass to Ehlers. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. The Jets played along the boards. Can't connect. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Takes a shot, and that carries off a stick. From the left side, they gain the zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And now it's over to Neal. Just a great defensive read there. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cassian. Slides the puck over. The Oilers played along the wing. And now he angles it across to Barry. The Jets look to start the transition game. Tosses it to Morrissey. Looking for space inside the D zone. The defenseman will go off as the puck is dumped in. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Turris. And he slides it quickly to break away. Great save. Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Glove save and an easy one at that. Hellebuck's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. Winnipeg's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. With the steal. Grabbed along the board by Chason. Taken by Wheeler. 
Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. They go on the attack from the left side. Here he is from the slot. Big time save by Smith. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Winnipeg's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Moved in front, and they can't convert to the play. Trying to get back on the attack now. Edmonton's gotten the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. They've got numbers. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. And another stop. Angles it over to Connor. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Makes a move in front. And now it's grabbed by Lowry. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Can't get a hold of that pass. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Pumps the puck away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with the stick. Cahoon's carrying it ahead. Bumped off the puck. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Appleton. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. Smith's taking a look up at the big board on the replay. He'll see his stick save was excellent. That was a good scoring chance. Winnipeg's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. And look at this, we are all tied up three games apiece. And what does that mean, Razor? Uh, I guess it means another game, James. You wanted me to say game seven. Being which, captain obvious, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, everybody can count. And if you're tied at 3-3, now you get to game seven. Just bring it on, game seven, people. It is amazing how times have changed to see these post-game salutes now after a victory. Yeah, you used to go pat the Hogoli on the head and then get out of there. Now you stay, salute the fans, and they stay to cheer you. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.